Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. And today I'm wearing my favorite secret squirrel hat that I recently bought in London, because today we are going to travel to a secret city, part of Oppenheimer's Manhattan Project. Never fear, though, because this video is much shorter than Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer at three hours and a lot more fun. So let's get on the road to the secret city, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And here we are beginning our trip. We're on I-81 heading west past construction in Radford, on past Withful, uh, Bristol, Knoxville, uh, only stopping at the world's largest gas station. As we arrive at the Manhattan Project Y-12 facility, notice that this isn't your typical gatehouse. Look how thick these walls are, uh, and at the machine gun ports at the bottom of the windows. The signs here are pretty scary. This is one of the most secure sites in the world and still in operation, storing refined uranium. Some of those signs were so scary, we were even afraid to take video of them. The small museum here at this operational facility is located behind these locked doors. There's also a small intercom located on them. Press the unmarked button to ask the guard if you can come in. Welcome to the Y-12 facility, A New Hope. Well, it was actually built on, uh, at a community, Bear Creek Valley, called New Hope. This Y-12 facility created uh, the uranium for uh, the first atomic bomb that helped in World War II. After that, they did machining for parts for most of the uh, atomic weapons of the U.S. Uh, and uh, went on to do some more high-precision engineering. Y-12 also created this aluminum case to contain the Apollo 11 sample box. Return the samples, make sure they didn't get contaminated. Uh, they were chosen because of their uh, high quality, high precision machining capabilities. Driving from the Y-12 site to the K-25 site, I see this Enrichment Federal Credit Union. <laughs> Enrichment Federal Credit Union. You know, enrichment. <laughs> we have arrived at the abandoned entrance gates to the K-25 facility. This is where, in the mid-1940s, thousands of people passed every day to enrich uranium for the first nuclear weapons ever used. They continued to enrich uranium for weapons during the Cold War and other industrial usage at this site until 1987. I feel like I can still hear the feet of those shuffling through. Here are some of the signs on the way to the museum entrance, reminding us of the secrecy required to work at this facility. It's pretty hard to imagine the size of this facility. It was the largest building in the entire world, almost a mile long, four stories high, it covered 44 acres and over 5 million square feet. In 2017, the facility was demolished and a museum was built. It is absolutely amazing the resources that the United States could gather during this time of war. Manufacturers, absolute secrecy is necessary. The path to uranium enrichment started with mining. 85% was mined in the Belgian Congo. Then you had to refine it to make it useful uh, because only 0.7% uh, of the uranium uh, was useful in a weapon. Uh, various ways to do that, as we will look at. Of the uranium on Earth, only about 0.7% is 
uh, uranium-235, which is necessary for the nuclear weapon. So you have to separate it from the mostly uranium-238. They had multiple processes for doing this in Oak Ridge. Uh, I think Y-12 was the first one. It was using electromagnetic, electromagnetic separation, uh, separating the heavier from lighter isotopes using electromagnetic attraction. Uh, that, that was uh, plant Y-12 that we visited. Um, K-25, gaseous diffusion, so they could push these through a, uh, a porous uh, barrier uh, to separate them. And then there was also a liquid thermal diffusion, which I hadn't heard of before, but it says that uh, the light isotopes will move toward higher temperatures uh, than the molecules containing uh, the heavier isotopes. Fascinating. Of course, the uh, modern uh, separation are gas centrifuges, uh, which spin at very high RPM to separate the very slightly different weights between uranium-235 and 238. There are many other displays in this museum. Here's a very quick run-through of some of the items in this case. Of course, if you want to see these in more detail or the other displays, you'll have to visit the museum yourself. What the heck is this? Uh, this mannequin was used in radiation studies on site. If you look carefully, uh, it actually has a human bone inside. Uh, I can see, I don't know if you can see or not, I can see ribs that have been cut here, uh, a skull uh, inside of there, uh, and again, various bones inside the pieces of this test dummy. And look what else I see in that case, survival crackers. Uh, these are by Kroger. I've got, I've got some of those, the exact same type of tin, except mine are made by National Biscuit Company, Nabisco, and uh, mine's not dented. Maybe I should get out some of my stuff too, the survival biscuits. Uh, I've got some Geiger counters, uh, uranium. Uh, if you think I should, let me know. And here we are at our destination, the American Museum of Science and Energy. This museum in the secret hidden city of Oak Ridge also has some information about the Manhattan Project. I see this bicycle that was used in the plant. I still see those in uh, large plants where I go do cybersecurity work. This is more of a fun museum though, even though it covers some of the Manhattan Project information. We see here video games for adults. Uh, there are m multiple 3D printing displays, automobiles, which are interesting, but they feel a little out of date at this point. Overall, I think this is more a museum for children. There are some fun things to do for the younger ones, maybe more so than for the adults. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. So if you enjoyed it, do me a favor, share it with a friend. And if not, do yourself a favor and share it with an enemy. In any case, remember to spend all your money on Coke and strippers. All right, Gravity Well 2 with audio, and here we go. All right, we got a couple of coins. We'll see if they do the same as last time or not. Ah. What a loser. <laughs>